Listen, Bill, you're, you're free to believe what you want to believe. If you want to believe that a, a little meteorite crashed into the earth and Bill Maher emerged from some swamp someplace, you go right ahead and believe it, man. You and Richard Dawkins and all Who your crew, that? you can't what, what, explain how the earth got here. You think that's what we here? believe? A, a you can't we, explain we, how the Earth got neither, here. Can you, you can't. Right. Nobody can, ex, nobody can explain it, but it doesn't mean that we should make up stories like children to explain All it. Right. There's a great quote from Ch Thomas Jefferson about how ridicule, ridicule is the only appropriate way to handle such fantasy. Wow. Okay, 46 past. Welcome back. That was Bill Maher and Bill O'Reilly duking out last night over religion. And joining us now with his own take, the lead singer of the punk rock band, Bad Religion. He's also a UCLA professor, Greg Graffin, in his new book, Anarchy Evolution, Faith, Science, and Bad Religion in a World Without God. Good to have you on the show this morning. Thanks for having me. I'd like to say I planned that debate to coincide with my appearance. Exactly. It, it, it's worked Good very well you. for us. And both of them did a great job. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, tell us about uh, Anarchy Evolution. Well, um, it, this is a momentous year for uh, my band, Bad Religion. We are celebrating 30 years of punk rock, which is something that we never dreamed would happen. And uh, throughout those wow. 30 years... And by the way, years. you're still alive, and that ain't nothing. <laughs> All right? That's true. Yeah. Uh, sadly, we can't say that for a lot of punk rockers, right. unfortunately. Right. But right. um, Alongside the, uh, my singing in Bad Religion, I also... Uh, took a different tack, which was studying academic science. And a lot of people don't see how can someone be an entertainer and a punk rocker and do science at the same time right. and have any kind of a coherent worldview. Right. And uh, what I've done in this book, hopefully, is woven those two elements together. And how do you do it? Well, it's not, there's not Talk a simple formula. Yeah. The, the, problem, the problem is that most people can't conceive of elements in, in science being at all related to punk rock. And uh, what I do in the book is point out that there's actually a lot of similarity in the, f in the sense that both of them challenge authority. And that's the one thread that runs through punk music uh, and, and I think has made it a, a mainstay in American culture. And it's the one thing that threads through uh, science as well. Wait, and, and, and explain that because we, we, you talk about anarchy, of course, and whenever I, I hear the word, I think of anarchy in the UK and cop cars being turned upside down on fire, <laughs> but you talk about a different type of anarchy, and anarchy and science. The, the sense that um, the, if we want in, as scientists to believe that the world is an ordered place and that it's governed by natural law, it's kind of the opposite idea that any kind of lawlessness or anarchy could be um, present. But uh, evolution is actually a science that uh, was unified, so to speak, uh, or so, so many people thought by natural selection. Right. But the truth is that uh, natural selection is falling out of favor with a lot of evolutionists uh, as being the overriding, overarching law-like giver right. to so, so, so you're evolution. saying it's, it's not neatly ordered. There's it's just not neatly nothing neat. We want, we but want, I will we not go. It. I want to make it very clear, though, because we're in dangerous waters here. I don't believe what uh, Bill O'Reilly said one bit right. when he said, nobody knows how the earth got here. Some, for some reason, Bill Maher let him off the hook. If okay, you know, how did said, they, okay, help well. me out. How did the earth get here? I'm not, you can't answer it in two seconds. If you would give me a little bit of time. Uh, I'll give have, you five. Go. <laughs> <laughs> There's, you know as well as I, you can pick up many books right. and read about the incremental development of the universe. Yeah. This is this a is fascinating not. concept, Peggy, because everybody, even people that say, oh, well, you believe in God or evolution, even those that say they believe in evolution like to think that it's, there's like this nice, neat formula. It is all so messy. There is no, there is, you know, there is uh, no formula here. Uh, I can, well, I'll just blurt. I, I believe in God, and I think science is to be lauded and used and investigated and taken so seriously because at the end of the day with all your scientific knowledge you'll get to God. Well that's a perfectly valid belief and uh, I don't think anyone should uh, criticize you for it. Oh thank you. <laughs> I'm I so grateful. I, uh, he said I slightly critical. <laughs> yeah, well, here we go. Boom. 
wrong. That, uh, so, this is so, so answer Christine O'Donnell's question. Why aren't apes? I'm just joking. Uh, yeah. um, that was that was painful. <laughs> Should we ask him about the mice with fully functioning human brains? No, no, no. I don't think so. So, so, so. so tell me, what was over the past 30 years, if you don't mind me asking about music? What, what, what are you the most proud of? 30 years later. Well, I've been saying this a lot this year, that um, it's really not a celebration of us. You have to be very careful when you celebrate numbers uh, right. when you're a punk rock band, yeah. because it could be a bad thing. Yeah. And if you yeah. stick around too long, you become a heritage act, right. which then you end up playing the state fair. Mm -hmm. I always say, I, nothing wrong with the state fair, but uh, I enjoy going to it. I don't yeah. want to play it. Uh, uh, Greg Graffin, thanks. The book Thank you so is much. Anarchy Evolution. Coming great. up, the Washington Post's Eugene Robinson. Also, some familiar faces around NBC.